A wise man once said, A threefold cord is not easily broken. Ecclesiastes 4.12 Applying this saying to the formation of the young, the leaders of Good Shepherd Church in 1979 founded a school, braiding it tightly to home and parish. Only when parish, home, and school are equally and harmoniously engaged in nurturing the next generation, they believed, would the Christian community be strong in each part and live into the future. With this in mind, they designed the new school to be small. Small so teachers and staff could know every child by name. Small so students would be discipled, not merely informed. Hadn't Jesus, though he taught multitudes, discipled only twelve, who then turned the world upside down? Small so each class would function as a well-ordered family. They envisioned a school that would be free, free to flex with each student's gifting, aspirations, and learning differences. We were uncertain if she would be able to stay in a classroom because her previous school year we had to remove her from the school setting because she literally could not handle it. Um, within the first couple of weeks of her being here, she was able to calmly come home. She enjoys going to school. She gets excited about school. She's able to focus on those things now instead of the emotional component. She's Christ-driven, and she reminds us to pray before dinner, and she gets us back on the path that we had always thought we would be raising our children on. There's a lot of people that love our child as if she was their child. That is so rare for a kid to get that kind of treatment at a school, and we're so blessed. Free to seek worthy goals, rather than the state's constricting agendas. Free to pursue the proven, rather than the current educational fad. They sought a school that would be fruitful. Fruitful because family and church, the two institutions God commissioned to nurture the young, join hands to build godly community. Fruitful because its academic program, in its pursuit of truth, beauty, and goodness, is framed and shaped by the historic worship of God. Students open each day by celebrating the Office of Matins and close each day by singing Evensong. No matter how many things the school schedule required that were so important, chapel was always put first, and that, was, that has been wonderful. And I've come back to attend chapel, even being away from school. Uh, because when I come to chapel in the morning, it helps me feel like I've done the most important thing for the day. <laughs> I would say that I have never seen a place like Good Shepherd, where there was a marriage, a harmony between what the school is trying to do, what the church is trying to do, and what the family is trying to do. And if you can f find that, then your kids will have a fighting chance when they go out into a very secular world. Fruitful because it is modeled after the parish schools God used to transform barbarian Europe into Christendom. Forty years later, Good Shepherd School still flourishes, faithful to this founding vision. Please join us as we, with God's blessing, build godly communities. Classical education is the model for training young children um, to truly think and to truly learn. It doesn't matter what field you're going to go into. You've been equipped to do that and to go for it and to really flourish in whatever you're doing. We need to love thy neighbor um, no matter the age, no matter the disability, no matter the race, you know, and we see that here. We feel very comfortable as a biracial couple having our kids in this school because um, there is a lot of diversity and the kids love each other and that's really fostered here. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, enlightened by thy Holy Spirit, those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of thy truth, 
we may worship and serve thee from generation to generation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>